Yo, this is Fabby Wooden here, and today I'm back with another video. As you can see in front of me, there's some wool blocks for some reason. What? Why, why would I put these wool blocks here, right in front of me? Because they're not wool blocks. They're carpets, and they're flying. There's no string whatsoever. And uh, yeah, how do I do this? There's a couple of different ways to do it. Um, this has been. Uh, people have been trying to figure this out for a while. And it's actually been in the game since carpets came out, but no, no one had actually, no one has actually discovered it. But um, I get, I, I am 100% sure it's discovered. But I did not come across any videos where it showed carpets flying. I, I come across videos where they showed how to make things like gravel and sand flying, and that's the same the same mechanism or whatever we want to use here. So there's two ways to do it. You can either use roses. So I'm just going to get rid of everything in my inventory. And what you want to get? You want to get... There's two different ways to do it, right? So the one you need a water bucket for, or you need actually two water buckets, so you can make an infinite source. And then you need a lily pad. And then you need, for the other one, you need just dirt and you need the new rose bush so once we got all those things now I'm gonna build it so how what you do to do it you gotta just figure out your spot and um, the only bad thing with this though is that if you place the blocks beside it it will update but uh, as you can see here if you're just having it on top of something like for example like uh, ground or anything like that. If I place a block beside here, it's gonna disappear. But the other thing about that is that you can put string on the middle of this and it will turn it into a trap. I was actually gonna show you that, but all of them fall down. But I can actually, I can show you when we get, when we get to finish these ones. So, what you wanna do, you wanna go like this, and um, two blocks under where you want your carpet to be, you just wanna cover it with dirt. This is the, um, one of the ways to do it, by the way. There's another way. And now you want to cover the entire ground. Some of you have probably guessed it by now. And uh, once you have done that, you want to fly on top. And then you want to cover the entire ground with carpets. Like so. And uh, if we remove these dirt blocks, do not remove the plants. Remove the dirt blocks. Or the bottom of this one also works, but if you right click the top or remove the top of it, it's gonna bug out. We have tons of carpets now. So as you can see, this is how you make flying carpets. And uh, you know you can make a trap out of it. Uh, I've showed you this now, so I'm gonna put some string. So what you do to make it make a trap out of it, you gotta just you gotta place the string before you uh, you do this. I'm g I'm just going to set it up again so I can show you what happens. So I was kind so of. So I replace all the roses. If you want to make a trap out of it, you gotta put the string first. So just put it in the middle, a little bit in, not in the edge, because if they stand half of their body here and half of the body there, they won't fall down. So make sure it's a little in. And now you just remove this, and you're all good to go. So just picture me um, walking in like this. So uh, you could, uh, you know, you could also make this out of gravel so it would look like a path. But this is like a carpet in a room or something. And you would walk like this and then, boom, you hit the string, makes it update, and the carpets fall. So the other way to do it, you want to go over here or where you want it. And then you want to get, you want to get some lily pads, all right? So you want to go like this. You can make this out of any block. You just got to make an encasing to encase the water because we're going to be placing some water and uh, you probably guessed it by now but I'm going to show you anyway for those who didn't catch it so what you want to do now you just want to cover this entire ground with f water source now put car uh, I mean um, <laughs> put lily pads all over the place on top of these and I actually made it a little bit too low but that is fine so we're going to have a lower floor then and now you just want to put Put your carpets going like so all over that. So picture this being one block lower. Um, this is actually going to be my floor. And you know you can uh, put blocks beside here. You just make sure you don't put it like here. Because then it'll fall down. But it, I haven't removed um, moved the stuff in uh, yet. So it, it is fine. But now we want to go under here and place a block under each and every one of these guys. So just do that. And as you can see, 
the carpet is not falling down. I recommend using half slabs because it's really easy because you can, once you put it down, you, as you can see, there's a hitbox. So you're able to reach the next one. But as you're done with that, you just remove every single block and you're set to go. And you can make another trap, but I said it didn't set up the string yet, so it's gonna fall when I when I do. You can also probably put a redstone block in the middle. And uh, if you walk on a redstone block, you could probably like have it underneath actually. I don't know. But if you put a redstone block touching any of these carpets and walk on it, that'll also update it. Also a lever, I guess I could show you that. So let's get a lever going. There's so many things you can do with this, and it and it's a really awesome trick. So, um, if I place a block there, it's gonna update, and it updated. So I won't be able to show you the lever thing, but you just have to uh, kind of have it, I guess. You know, one block beside it, and I guess when I placed the lever, it would have updated the carpets anyway. But that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and uh, I am working on Before Robot at the moment, and uh, I've really gotten into Redstone again. I am really motivated. Um, I just took a little break from doing Redstone and doing Minecraft at all, and now I'm just, I got so many ideas. I've been like, no ideas, and that for a little while now, but now I, I got so much inspiration. As you may notice, but this thing is pretty cool. I, I just love this thing though. Look at that. It pushes track to the side. I don't know. <laughs> I should end this video. Thanks so much for watching. This is just a button that sends the villagers and uh, get some. So I'm actually going to show you. Let me get a my cart. So I put it down on there and I click the button and it should go collect the villager. But the problem is with this though, it does not make the villager go back if there's not enough villagers in here because it kind of relies on like the hitboxes of the villagers pushing it back into the thing again. So as you can see, the minecart went straight up to the village there, but um, uh, as you can see, I'm just going to empty these. The one, the one of them wasn't empty, but... Um, but as you can see, when I shoot him back, he, he does not go...